Hi, in this tutorial, we'll talk about the solar core and how to create that core. So at a high level, solar core is used to refer a single index and associated files and everything, right? Another definition is solar core is a running instance of Lucent index that contains all the conf solar configuration file required to it. We need to create a solar core to perform operations, right? So basically, what does that mean? Solar core is required to perform your search operation using Apache Solar. Solar core is mandatory. But what is the purpose of creating multiple cores? So let's take example. You are running a multiple sites on solar to search. So each site has different configuration file. Each site has different indexes and different data. So you create a core for a particular website let's say for the geeks code book you will create one core for geeks code book and another one is solar tutorial so you'll create another core for solar tutorial so that each core contain everything associated to a particular website now you can have multiple configuration files and data for a specific site let's understand the structure of core file structure so inside your uh, solar installation directory you will find a server inside that you go to the solar now you create a folder for a specific core let's say you create a core called geeks code book or solar tutorial inside that you must have two directory conf and data conf directory so core contain two directories conf and data data contain all the data and this conf contain the configuration files two files are mandatory manage hyphen schema and solar config there are other files as well we'll see in demo in last tutorial explain how you can start that so you can start from the parent directory you can go to the bin slash solar start instead of that you can straight away go to the bin directory I'm just explaining how you can start from the bin now I am bin but now here's a difference now you have to type dot then forward slash and now you have to say solar but in earlier when we were running from outside of this directory we were not using dot now solar dot start same way you can stop as well colon slash solar and then stop so let's start this first when solar is start it will land on your dashboard so now you will see the core which were created earlier we we created this core in last tutorial so now we have to create one more core so go to the core admin and this add core you will see these options here now just give a name to this core let's say geeks code book but now here directory in last tutorial we used existing directory but now we'll create our own directory so let's name it geeks code book but if you hit now you may get error reason being is as of now this directory should be available inside your folder structure and this directory as explained should have two subdirectory conf and data as well so i'll not hit now now first go to your folder structure and see where it is now go to the folder structure solar installation directory and you will find a folder called solar server inside server this solar folder right solar now create a directory inside here geeks tutorial geeks geeks code book code book now you have to create two subdirectories to it inside that create conf and data conf and one more call data so now i have to create all the configuration files so now as for the learning purpose as a beginner i'll not create files so what i'll do i'll copy the files from the existing data so come back here inside this solar folder and go to the already available sample config files this config set and inside this you will find this sample tech product config which we used in previous tutorial as well go to this conf and copy everything what is there all the files are not used but still for the safer side let's copy okay because we are beginners so go to codebook my codebook and copy all the files 
now we have created everything ideally you should create these files as per your need but just for the learning purpose we copied everything now come back here and just say add core now the core has been added we did not get any error so if i refresh now and i should see another core you see this core has been created geeks code book but it has zero data because we did not add any data to it generally this data is called document in solar by the way we'll talk this word document in coming tutorials a lot so our core is created but we don't have any data first option is we can copy data as we did in previous tutorial or you can add data there are a number of ways how you can do it you can use apis as well to push data or the document from any technology to solar but as of now what we'll do go to this query and query or go to the document you will see a option called update using this option you can create data to it uh, by ui now there's a number of options you can do it you can using csv file document builder file uploader json xml there are a number of ways you can do it but i'll choose a uh, called json here i'll create a simple json and we'll add that a particular json as a document to this solar so you will see I added a very simple just two lines ID codebook and name is equal to codebook. So I say submit doc. It has been submitted now. Ideally, if everything goes right, I should see one document to it. Now let's say query. And if I say search execute query, I should see one result here. And see the you see one result here id is whatever i added name whatever i added there are additional fields as well which is used for indexing by solar even you can add these field as well by your own so that's how you can create core and add data to it i hope you understood if you have any question add your comment thank you